Hello, fifth grade. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Let's explore learning spaces. Look behind me. Remember where the portables were out here by the greenhouse? Well, we're going to start thinking about what kind of learning space could we build there? And you're going to help design it. Let's take a look at outdoor learning spaces today on eLab. See ya. Oh, hi. Hey, this is the most basic of an outdoor learning space. It's an opening in the forest. I'm just sitting on the ground on top of some leaves. It's beautiful out here. I can look up in the sky. I can smell the smells of nature. I can hear the sounds. But what if it rains? What if the ground is wet? Would you like to sit on the ground? Would you like to sit out in the rain and try to write down a description of the great outdoors? Learning spaces can be very different from each other. Let's start to think about a outdoor learning space and what that can look like. This is probably the most basic and this doesn't cost us anything. We can come out in the woods on a nice day, sit down and sketch, listen to our teacher, do the things we need to do to learn. Let's dream a little bit now about an outdoor learning space. What could it be like? What could you design? Let's think about that. Remember the stump circle at Blanford Nature Center? You probably remember sitting out here with Mrs. Paul or myself and learning about nature. Well, this is a nice outdoor learning space. At least there are stumps to sit on so you're not sitting on the ground. Think about if this is a good learning space, if it's raining or if the sun is very hot. How could we improve an outdoor learning space and make it more comfortable, make it a better place to learn? Let's look at some other outdoor learning spaces and think of the possibilities. Friends, this is a temporary outdoor learning space. So the roof on this covering would help protect you from sun and from rain. How long do you think it would last out in the snow and rain for, for a long period of time? Probably not very long. But this is an idea for an outdoor learning space that could keep the sun and rain off you. Interesting. Lots of, lots of different decisions to space. make. Hey, look at that little shelter. That little outdoor learning space has a roof. A roof could protect you from rain, from, from bright sunlight. So a roof could be helpful in an outdoor learning space. Take a look. It'd be kind of cool. You think the whole class would fit underneath that? I don't know. I don't think a whole class would fit under that. But that's a neat idea, I like that. Wow, how do you like this outdoor learning space? Look at this, that's a cool shelter. You think that would keep the rain out though? Kind of a cool play structure. I don't know if that would be the outdoor learning space that we would want, but maybe we're getting ideas right now. Take a look, here's a type of shelter that could be in an outdoor learning space. Here are stumps where people could sit. There are some tires there to play on. Kind of looks like a stage, doesn't it? And there's a roof, so it would keep the rain off you and bright sunlight. I think we'd need more than just one chair. But now we're getting some ideas for an outdoor learning space. The tilted roof would help the rain to fall off too. Hmm, I'm getting some ideas for an outdoor learning space I would like to see. How about you? Cool, look at this outdoor learning space at Millennium Park. Look at that roof. That's going to keep the rain off and the hot sun. There are picnic tables under this one. And it has six different posts holding it up. Wow, that looks like a strong roof. Look at that. Wow, this shelter's a little more complicated, isn't it? Yeah, this outdoor learning space actually includes this shelter. Now, is that something we'd like to have? So that we could sit out in the rain or if it was hot and sunny outside and get some protection from the sun. Here's another outdoor learning space. That's beautiful. Let's dream about this and think about what could we have as an outdoor learning space at CA Frost. Cool, look at that sky behind it. Good thing there's a roof covering it. Looks like it could rain. Wow, good thing. Good thing there's a roof over this outdoor learning space, this shelter helps to keep the rain and the bright sun off. There's a lot of space in that shelter. It's another, it's another example of an outdoor learning space. There 
there are no walls. Wow, this shelter or pavilion is part of an outdoor learning space here at Millennium Park. Wow, that takes a lot of materials and time and money to build something like that. Boy, think about it, friends. If you're building an outdoor learning space, do you think we'll have a budget? Will there be a limit to how much money we can spend? Wow, think if that was your job to design an outdoor learning space, what would you include in it? Look at that. That's a nice shelter for an outdoor learning space. It has seating. It has a roof covering it. A really nice roof. Look at this. Wow, that's beautiful. I wonder how much it cost. Wow, fifth grade friends. Look at all this space we have now to build some kind of outdoor classroom or outdoor learning space. Hey, what should the seating be like? Should we sit on the ground, on logs, on chairs, benches? What do you think? What should our view be when we're looking outside? Should it be this way? Should it be the other way? What should we be looking at when we're in our outdoor learning space? The, what direction should the seating face? Think about it. Wow, it's kind of bright out here at the sun. How could we protect ourselves in our outdoor learning space from the hot rays of the sun or from rain? Let's think about what we can do in this wonderful space we have now. Look at it. What kind of outdoor learning space could we have? You design it. Design it on paper and show me on a Seesaw page. I can't wait to see what you're going to think up for an outdoor learning space.